guys, welcome on back to another video, um, oh, another LEGO review, haven't done one in a while, being sarcastic, and today we are reviewing the LEGO Avengers Endgame set, Iron Man's Hall of Armor. Now I actually got the set like two weeks ago, and I haven't gotten a chance to review it because the table's been used to like build stuff, not to really review stuff, so I had to put the LEGOs away in my room while I was building other sets, so that's why you saw the Quinjet and Slave 1 reviews first because they were bigger and I was spending time building them than reviewing these sets. So that's why these reviews are last. So next Avengers Endgame review will probably be the War Machine Hulkbuster and then the $100 set. But yeah, and spring breaks around, so I'm excited. Um, and yes, the news about Sunday Night Live, uh, Sunday Morning Live, uh, I'm, I'm pretty excited for that. It works better for me personally. Saturday Night Live, it was always every Saturday night I had something to do. So I felt like I should have just ended it. Plus YouTube took off streaming. Sunday Night Live is going to be more chillaxed because I don't need to do it every Sunday night. Like I'm going to make it not as stressed for myself. So yeah, anyways, let's get started. Cool Dude 64 presents Lego Iron Man's Hall of Armor review. Okay, so. First minifigure, which I've reviewed a thousand times. Um, I mean, not a thousand, but a lot. Um, we have the Iron Man from Avengers Infinity War and Avengers Endgame. Not really from Avengers Endgame. Um, in the set, he has the same um, under armor face, under the hat mask face, under the helmet. And then he has the same face. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, same figure I've reviewed, same figure I like. Um, I reviewed him in the Santum Sanctorium, which was probably one of my older reviews, I would say. Maybe not. Um, anyways, next figure. Um, next we have Iron Man Mark 1. And for a figure that didn't need so much detailing, because it was the first Iron Man suit, so it didn't even need that much, we got a lot of detailing. So, back here we got, like, probably Iron Man, like, messing around with the suit, which is why there's, like, orange and... All this other stuff. It's probably for the jetpack. And then we have a reuse of this Iron Man helmet from like 2017. Underneath there's no face. That's going to be the same for that suit and that suit. Um, and he has pretty nice detailing. He didn't really need any on the arms, so that's fine. And really good detailing all around. This is probably one of my favorite Iron Man suits. Um, because of the way they actually nailed the Mark I design. Next, I'm pretty sure it's Mark V. Anyways, um, I'm pretty sure this one was from Iron Man 2. Um, no, under the helmet. Here, this uses a regular Iron Man helmet we're all used to by now. Opens, closes like that. Um, the detail on the figure is pretty cool. I don't know the suit that well, but anyways, I like the silver that's going down. And this thing. I like the detail on the figure is what I'm trying to say. So yeah, pretty cool figure. Um... If it's from Iron Man 2, I've only really ever seen Iron Man 2, like, once, so... Um, yeah, the figure's pretty cool. Nothing much for me to say. Next, we have this other Iron Man Mark. I think it's, like, Mark 41 or something. Anyways, nothing under his face, either. Um, he's wearing this gold and black suit, which really looks well together. And I really like this suit. Once again, a lot of good detailing. No arm printing. Um... A lot of detail back here. A lot of detail on... Okay. I didn't mean to take off the head. But a lot of detailing on the helmet itself. Which is something, like, I don't really see with a lot of, like, figures in general. So that's pretty cool. And yeah, I really like this figure. Okay, so I'll just go over the aliens. They have four arms. Same aliens I reviewed. There's two of them, so I'm not really going over them again. Um... I guess I would review Igor next since he's technically a figure, but I'm doing smallest builds, well, smallest things to bigger things, so just bear with me here. So next we have um, kind of like Iron Man Tilper. I forget his name. It'll probably come to me later. Anyways, um, he has this fire extinguisher and a little party hat, which is pretty cool. He moves around like that or like that. So that's pretty cool. 
And then he's putting on some fires over here, which he is supposed to be doing, so yeah. Do I really need to go over the fire? Anyways, now on to Igor. So Igor is the biggest Iron Man suit <laughs> in the set. Um, not the biggest Iron Man suit because Hulkbuster's bigger. Sorry, Igor, but you've lost this battle. Um, anyways, um, the figure is pretty cool. I like the design and some of the parts, like the blue and gray, works well together. But it's kind of just a bulky a little bit. So here we have the moving legs and stuff, which is okay. It's pretty cool. But anyways, he stupid alien. He runs and he walks. And he stupid alien. You know, I'm moving. I'm moving the figures to the side. This is too annoying. Anyways, um, he has this underneath, probably to be like the laser shooter thing, whatever. And then he has the fingers and stuff. And then he also has this laser and fingers and stuff. Anyways, um, he does have stickers, which is pretty neat, um, on him, like here and here. Anyways, if you look on, if you pull that up and you pull this up, you can put Iron Man in there. So that's pretty cool. I don't think a lot of people notice that. I mean, I haven't even seen a review for this set. Um, he also has a head that looks like this, and body that looks like this, so, that kind of looks like the Iron Man suit, is what I'm trying to say. Anyways, yeah. Okay, so I'm moving all the stuff to the side I've already reviewed. Now onto this big hall of armor, which, I know this isn't supposed to be connected, which you could unconnect. So, this is a little lab with the computer things, and coffee, and a chair that spins around. You can put Iron Man in here if you want, but I already have Iron Man sitting down. So I'll just put it in a random suit. There you go. He's working now. He's working minimum wage. Um, anyways, yeah, it's pretty cool. But it has this piece here, and then there's this piece here. So I'm like, okay, you could probably just connect. I mean, maybe you are supposed to connect it. I don't remember. Anyways, now we get to the Hall of Armor. So, um, this Hall of Armor is pretty cool. I actually really like it. Um, so what happens is you put Iron Man in here and you kind of move him around and you kind of move this around so it's like you're fixing him and stuff. So that's pretty cool. Um, you do that. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. So now we're going to start moving from here to back there. So, oh no. So back here, we have this little smoothie maker, which is pretty neat. There's also a coffee cup over here, and I really do like the smoothie maker. It's pretty cool. Um, and then there's a ladder over here, which is probably to get up for the aliens to come down. I mean, I don't know why our army would just build the ladder for the aliens. But yeah. Anyways, next there's this gun and some lightning bolt. I don't know why the lightning bolt's there. But it's a pretty cool place to hold the gun and the light. But up here, there's a like TV radar or the signal radar. It's the only thing that's really interesting up there. Nothing else is really up there in terms of like detail. Anyways, you have these two empty spaces, which you may be like, wait, what the heck are those used for? Well, anyways, the cool thing about the set is you could do some Caesar. Since under these masks are all empty, no one's controlling the suits. I mean, I guess he can control the suits. But you could just put them right there because it's his hull of armor. And I just knocked down the TV right Anyways. Yeah, so you can put them in there. Also in the middle, there's a jetpack, which I think is a pretty cool because I think it's for the Mark I, which you could probably put on him, on the Iron Man Mark I. So that's pretty cool. Over here, there's another empty space. Once again, you could just put this right here. Pretty neat. Over here, there's like a wrench of some sort, which is pretty cool. And, well, no, not really that cool. <laughs> some sort of wrench or whatever over there. And you could probably put other like tools over there as well. Here's another empty space. I guess you could put a suit over there, but I, I, I like them close together. Now, 
Over here, probably the weirdest part of the set, we have, um, for some reason, Iron Man wears a wig, and his hair is just right here, which I think, which you'll see later, in War Machine's Hulkbuster, Ant-Man has, like, extra hair for the figure, and then they don't put his hair in, like, a suit or somewhere, so for me, that's kind of weird, and yeah, so I should have showed this later in the video, but... Guess what, guys? Iron Man has hair. Ooh, shocking. Okay, anyway. Just wanted to do that. Alright. Okay, so there you go. That was the Iron Man's Hall of Armor set review. Pretty cool set. Um, I actually really like it. Oh, oh, do, 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 do. Oh. We're just going to put stuff over here. Um, anyways, guys, it was actually a pretty fun set to build. Pretty cool set to build. Um, but yeah, I hope to be reviewing more in the future. Next one you'll probably see will be War Machine's Hulkbuster. Um, and if not, I don't know why it won't be the next one. But yeah, so remember to subscribe. Remember to like, comment, and see Toy Story 4. Goodbye.